Once again, this is Lisa Crenshaw. Castro to assassinate Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and James Earl Ray became the fall guy for this. I showed you in an earlier video how James Earl Ray and the alias that he used, Eric Starvo's Eric Starvo Galt, translated to the name Raul Castro. Second alias that James Earl Ray used was Raymond George Sneed. We're gonna figure out who Raymond George Sneed is. We have figured out, well I have figured out that Eric Sarvo Galt was none other none other than Raul Castro. I presented my theory that Raul Castro assassinated Dr. Martin Luther King. Along with that theory, I presented that Pope Paul VI at the time was the one who ordered the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King. So since one alias, Eric Stavro Galt, is Raul Castro, let's find out who the other alias that James Earl Ray, which is Raymond George Sneed, let's find out who they are. What we're going to do is we're going to take the D, we're going to take the lowercase d from Raymond, the lowercase e from George, and the lowercase d from Sneed. These are the last letters in each one of these names. What we're going to do is, we're going to turn the lowercase d upside down. So what we're going to have is, we're going to have D-E-D. -E -D. Okay? We're going to turn the two lowercase d's upside down. They become two lowercase p's. We turn them upside down and then we turn them around. They become p's. So D-E-D -E -D becomes P-E-P. -E -P. The leftover from the name uh, Raymond George Sneed. We're going to take the R from the beginning of the word Raymond, the G from the beginning of the word George, and the S from the beginning of the word Sneed. Now, R is the 18th letter of the alphabet. It breaks down to 8 minus 1. 8 minus 1 equals 7. G is the 7th letter of the alphabet. We're going to add the two together. 7 plus 7 is 14. The S is the 19th letter of the alphabet. 1 plus 9 equals 10. We take the circle of the 0. We place it on top of the 1. It becomes the letter I. The Roman numeral I means 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the 14 plus the 1. That gives us 15. The 15th letter of the alphabet is O. We're going to add that to the P-E-P. -E -P. That spells Pope. Now, what that gives us now, since we've used the beginning letters and the ending letters from each word, it gives us the word Amon. The G is repetitive in George, so it cancels one another out. The E is repetitive in George, it cancels one another out, so it gives us the word or. And then from the word Sneed, we have the word S N E Y, which spells S Y N E, it spells sin. So what we have from Raymond is we have Amen, Amen, which is Amen. What we have from George is Or, and what we have from Sneed is Sin. And that just translates to Sin. So what we have is we have the words Amen, or sin. We're going to take the or from amen or sin. We're going to take the word or, and O is the 15th letter of the alphabet. 1 plus 5 equals 6. R is the 18th letter of the alphabet. It breaks down to 1 plus 8. That equals 9. 6 plus 9 equals 15. The Roman numeral I means 1. The Roman numeral V means 5. So that gives us V 
and I. That gives us five and one. That gives us six. So we have Pope and we have six. Now what is left over is the word sin and the word amen. We take the word amen and we take the M and we turn it upside down. It becomes two U's. It all becomes a W, which is nothing more than two U's. You turn those two U's upside down, it becomes two N's. So we have the word sin, A, N, N, E, N. Now, remember, sin, which was left over from the word sneed, was S Y E N, and then we had Amen, A M E N. The E is going to cross out the E, so that's going to give us S Y N, which is sin, S I N, and then it's going to give us A M N. So, we turn the M upside down, it became a W, which is two U's, upside down, it becomes two N's. Okay, there's no E here because it got crossed out here. Sin, S-Y-N, became sin, S-I-N. Amen. The E canceled one another out. We broke the M down. It became two N's from B and W, two U's, upside down, two N's. It became N, N, N. The N's are repetitive, so they cancel one another out. We just need one N. The others are repetitive, so now we have S I N A. The N gets turned upside down, it becomes a lowercase u. So now what we have is we have S I U A. We keep, we take the S, we place it here, the U, we place it here, and the A, we place it here. The Roman numeral I means one. S is the 19th letter of the alphabet. That's 1 and 9. The Roman numeral I means 1. The 1 is repetitive, so the 1 gets canceled out. We take the 9 and we turn it backwards, and it becomes a letter P, and we place it here. We take the 1, we place it here, it becomes a letter L. So S U A becomes P-A-U-L. And what we do, people, is we add that to the 6 that we got, the V and the I. We add that to the word Pope. So what we have is we have Pope. We have Paul. And we have the 6. So Raymond George Sneed is none other than Pope Paul the sixth, Eric Sarvo Galt is none other than Raul Castro. James Earl Ray used both these aliases. So if James Earl Ray is Raymond George Sneed, is Eric Sarvo Galt is the assassinator of Dr. Martin Luther King, then he is none other than Raul Castro and Pope Paul the sixth. And remember, people, that James Earl Ray kept saying that he met with a man named Raul, who is Latin, and that Raul is the one who assassinated Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. So take the two aliases into effect, and what he was saying to you people is Raul Castro assassinated Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on orders from Pope Paul the Sixth. I, I've done 170 videos approximately on YouTube. I think I'm very good at what I do. I don't brag. I don't boast. I don't use this. I don't do that. I don't manipulate. If something's there, it's there. I'll find it. If it's not there, then it's not there. But please stay tuned for my next video, which I'm hoping is going to be my last video. I'm going to explain to you exactly what Bohemian Grove is. Anyone who's familiar with Bohemian Grove, anyone who's not familiar with Bohemian Grove, this is 2,700 acres of redwood forest in California where the elite.